What's up everybody, this is Matt from WebInc. Here at WebInc, we talk about health, wealth, relationships, and so much more. That's why in today's video, we're talking about 10 toxic types of people you should not date. <music> 10, cheaters. Why are cheaters bad? Cheaters are bad because typically if they've done it before, they will do it again. Yes, people change, but they don't change overnight. If someone in their past relationship cheated on you, there's a good chance that they haven't changed that quickly. The problem is, a lot of people seem to think that it is, it's, it's them, right? It's something they're doing wrong. No, it's the other person. It's their integrity. It's their standard of, of, of who they are and, and what they're willing to do and how they're willing to treat you and your relationship. If they are cheating on you, if you have suspicion of them cheating on you, you better raise that red flag and then get rid of that trash. Nine, the drunks. Drunks are bad for many reasons. A lot of times they want to go out and party, get crazy, do God knows what. Stay out to all hours of the night, right? If it's a girl, they're out, they're drinking, having fun. Woo! Dumping them out, right? For a guy, maybe trying to bring home the next closest thing to a, a female they can find, right? Something with two legs that's walking around. But that's not it. There is more and more problems with drunks. And it's not just drunks. It's, it's, it's drunks and alcohol that can truly ruin a relationship. But you can also have a drunk or a drug addict that is sitting at your house just whatever, sitting and wallowing and drinking and drinking, right? And that just... But it affects you and your life and your relationship, right? Because they're staying at home every single day drunk, right? Now you can't have friends over because they're hammered, they're wasted, they're saying all kinds of mean things, right? Maybe putting you down, whatever it may be. You do not need that in your life. Yes, if you care about them a lot, seek help. There is tons of resources out there. But if that doesn't work and they're still not willing to get with the program, moveon.com. Get them out of your life. You don't need it. There's a million fish in the sea. Eight, mean people. Mean significant others are a cancer to your life. They are beneath you. You do not need them. All they're going to do is just suck the life out of you, right? Ruin uh, friendships, relationships, uh, family. No matter who you bring them around, they're going to be mean and stark and snarky. And it's just not good for anybody. You are an amazing, great individual and the last thing you need is some mean, vicious person hanging around because they have their own problems. It's not you, it's them. They're the one with the, whatever, the insecurity or the whatever it is that is bringing out all that mean, vicious, nasty behavior. If you're, if you're on a first date and they're beating up on the waitress, over uh, a dressing or if you if you have a dog and they are just brutally vicious and mean to that dog you know they are a mean shitty person so get that cancer out of your life you don't deserve it you are a me amazing beautiful person seven attention whores what are attention whores right attention whores are you're out with your friends and you're with your significant other and next thing you know they are Whatever, your a friend comes talk to you and then they butt in, right? Because they need the attention. And then all of a sudden, one day, you're not giving them attention they need. And all of a sudden, they move on, talk to other people, and then talk to other people. And then because you're not giving them enough attention, they've been cheated on you or did other heinous things to, what, just fill their desire to, to feel wanted or feel, feel needed. Again, that is their insecurities, their problems, their issues. It has nothing to do with you. As I said, you are an amazing, beautiful person. Do not surround yourself by a tension horse. Get them out of your way and let someone else deal with fulfilling their attention. Six, jealousy. Jealousy is a vicious, poisonous thing in any relationship. That means that whatever, right? You're, say you're a significant other, right? For me, it would be a female. So I, uh, I go out with a couple of friends, we're having fun, right? It's completely harmless, but then all of a sudden, she keeps calling and calling and calling and calling because she's jealous of what you're doing and how she isn't with you. Jealousy can destroy relationships in so many different ways and lead to 
vicious arguments and fights over stupid petty things we all yes when you're in a relationship you need to have your time together but along with that you need to have times with friends and family apart from each other you need to have your own life and then your life together so if you're with someone who's jealous that can turn into so many bad things it can turn into rage and fights so if you find that you're with a jealous person and you don't want that anymore, tell them that's where the door is. Don't let them hit them on the ass on the way out. Thank you all for watching this far. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to give me one of these. Subscribe. Let's get on the next one, guys. Five, plastic and fake people, cosmetically. Those are the people, yes. A lot of us like to care about our appearance, dress nice, wear nice shoes, make sure your hair's done, get your hair cut, whatever it may be. That's different from the plastic surgeries, the boob jobs, the, the calf implants, the ass implants, the, um, I mean, you, you've seen those people, right? They look like, whatever, Google it online and look up um, plastic surgery gone bad. You're going to see a line that looks like a human. No bueno. So if, if you're with one of those persons that is a, a perfectionist in the, 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 the whatever, the, cosmetic or plastic surgery aspect of life please get rid of them because that is never going to stop unless you, again you really care about them what you should do is get them into therapy because that's what they really need it's a deep down insecurity that is pushing them to get um, liposuctions nose jobs boob jobs you name it so either have them seek help help or Move the hell on because you don't need that in your life. We are all perfect human beings. The only other suggestion I suggest is go to the gym with them, work out with them because plastic surgery is not the answer. Plus, it is mad pricey. Four, insecurities. Insecurities are something that we all carry with us every single day. We all have certain little things that we like to change about ourselves, but those are, there's those people out there, especially in relationships where, where they are extremely insecure about everything. Yes, you should reassure them that they're beautiful, that they're smart, that they're whatever it may be that they're insecure about, right? Because you love them and you care about them. But eventually it gets to a point where those insecurities can massively affect your life your your mental health because what they're going through is a extreme struggle they just everything they see themselves in the mirror they just see as ugly and wrong and bad and some of these people are the most beautiful people in the world so if you're with one of those people and it's extremely unhealthy again if you love them help them to seek help but otherwise don't let them drag you down and make your life miserable life is too short you're an amazing beautiful person and you do not deserve for anybody else to bring you down three doesn't take care of themselves or doesn't exercise yes a lot of us exercise is a huge part of our our daily lives it's something that we should put into our daily routine whether uh, 15 minutes a day whether it be five days a week for two hours every day if you're if you're going to keep up with a certain appearance and uh, look a certain way and try and stay in a certain physical physique if the other person isn't trying to do the same it just it can be hurtful for the relationship because eventually as one person gets uh, uh, stronger healthier fitter uh, the other person just may seem to whatever they they want to sit on the couch and watch tv and mow on chips all day and it just doesn't work for that relationship uh the, what's that saying those who uh play together stay together it's the same thing if one person's working out ask to join them because two people that are working towards their physical shape are better off mentally physically and romantically i mean who doesn't want to be in the same bedroom with two sexy God, it's looking like human beings just going at it. So get in shape, work out, and stick with the plan with your significant other. Whatever it may be, 15 minutes a day, an hour a day, hour a week, whatever it is. Join the program, go to the gym, and work out together. Two, dumb. Now that sounds mean, right? But what I mean by that is you need someone that can stimulate you up here as well as right here. So it's just not a one size fits all, right? You 
yes, you can be attracted to someone, but honestly, you can have a conversation with them and it's just like hitting a brick wall. You're just like, how am I even going to continue, right? You text them, blah, 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 right? And, and you expect a, an answer and then also another question, but then they just say, my day was good. It just doesn't make sense. So at the end of the day, if they can't simulate you up here and then up here, move on. Last but certainly not least, number one, bad communicators. Yes, there is such thing as bad communicators. You can go out to dinner and then the next thing you know, you sit across from this person, right? They are beautiful or handsome, depending on what, what you're into. All of a sudden, you start a conversation and whatever you're talking about, um, I don't know, whatever maybe, and the next thing you know, they have no response, right? Because they're completely clueless. They have no communication skills. They are completely lost on basic, generic conversation skills. If you can't have a conversation with somebody, you are screwed. The relationship is over. You might as well just ask for the check and then get the hell out of there because it's not just the physical appearance that matters. It's what up here that matters. It's the, the conversations you're gonna have as the relationship grows and you're laying in bed at night and you're, you're making small talk or whatever. Say you eventually get to the point where you buy a house and you're sitting on that front porch and making small talk about life and things that have happened and you want that to be a good conversation, right? Something meaningful that touches your soul. So if, if they're not a good communicator, please say, again, hit the walls or hit the bricks because there is no point in spending any more time with that person who sucks at communication. Again though, I appreciate each and every one of you. Honestly, as the journey goes on and on, it is just, um, gets more and more amazing. I'm getting more and more into digital marketing, real estate photography and videography. So please check out my website. Uh, it's webinc.org. Again though, don't forget to give me one of these, subscribe. See you every single week, guys.